In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you try to exceed the valid range for each data type in the C programming language. Now, this is also an important interview question or maybe when you're trying to learn the C programming language, this could become a very good quiz or test. Let me just include my library, which is the stdio.h and then let me type in the main function and then let me type in return 0. After that, we are first going to try the output of integer data type. So I'm going to create an integer and call it A and set it equal to the maximum value, which is this one, which is 21474836647. After that, I'm going to take out a printf statement and pass in percentage D and pass in my variable A in it and put a semicolon at the end and run my program. So I get the exact value in the output. But what if I try to increase the value by one, save my program and execute it. This time around, I did not only get the same exact value, but I got a negative value or a negative symbol. So why is that so? Well, we're going to talk about it in just a while, but let me just show you the unsigned integer as well. So we have unsigned integer and I'm going to call it B and set it equal to the maximum value, which is this one, 4294967295. And then I'm going to pass in inside this printf function by changing this from percentage D to percentage U and changing my variable from A to B. After that, I'm simply going to execute my program and I get the same output or the same value as this one. But if I increase this value by one, save my program and execute it. First of all, I get a very big warning letter and then I get the value zero. So why is that so? So let's explain what is happening over here. So imagine that you have the following data representation, which is in three bits. So basically all the data that you read is coming from these three bits and the maximum value that can be read or stored inside these three bits is one, one and one. Now this value equals to seven. Now imagine that you want to represent the value eight. So how would you do that? So basically you will get one, zero, zero and zero. Now this is equals to eight, but we would get the output as zero. Why is that so? So what happens is that the compiler completely ignores the fourth bit because it knows that this data type needs to read data from the three bits. So it reads the three bits and it concludes that, okay, the value that I'm getting from these three bits is actually zero and it ignores the leading first bit. So that is why in the case of unsigned integer, we get the value zero. But what if we want to represent the value nine? So in that case, let me just copy this comment, paste it here, change it to nine. So in this case, what happens is that we get the first bit at one and then zero, zero, and then one. So what would be the output? So the output would be actually one because again, we are reading only the last three bits and the last three bits conclude to one. And if we are talking about the signed cases, so let me just type in signed here. So in signed bits, basically if we have three bits to represent our value, the bit before that would be the signed bit. So if I change my value to this one, what this is going to do is that it is going to read that, okay, this is the value, but this time around it is a negative value. So that is how we got the value negative 214748364 and in the case of unsigned integer, we got the value zero because of this particular case. Anyways, that was it for what happens when you try to exceed the valid range of each individual data type in the C programming language.